This episode of the show is brought to you by HostGator. No matter what your business is, you need a website, and HostGator's easy-to-use drag-and-drop interface makes it easy to set up your website in just a few minutes. Plus, my listeners get hosting for as low as $3.95 per month, plus you get an additional 20% off just by going to juniormoneymakers.com slash hosting. All right, everyone, this is Mark, and you're listening to the Junior Moneymakers podcast, the show that's all about helping you teach kids how to become young entrepreneurs. So this week, I'm going with a little bit of a different sound on the show. So this might be a departure from what you're used to. Normally, I script out almost everything that I'm going to say on the show. And for this episode, I'm going to try to go a little bit more off the cuff and see what happens. In our business, we always have to try new things, and sometimes they fall flat, and sometimes they work. And the only way that I'll know if this is working or not is if you give me your feedback. So send me a message at mark at juniormoneymakers.com and let me know if you like the feel of this show a little bit more than some of our other shows or if I'm going in the wrong direction altogether. My email address again is mark at juniormoneymakers.com. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right. On today's episode, we're going to talk again about dogs. So this episode is really for people who like dogs, like playing with dogs, and of course, anybody that wants to make extra money. So if you're allergic to dogs, then I'm sorry, but this episode might not be for you. I laid down a really good base in episode 10 of what it takes to start a dog walking business, uh, but people still ask me all the time, how do I get started? And that's really my number one question. So I, I covered that last Wednesday when I talked about how to start your business, but this episode is going to give you the fast track, which is really going to help you out to get your business going. To give you a quick disclaimer, I'm not an affiliate with Rover.com, the website I'm going to talk about on today's show, but I do have an affiliate link that you can use at the end, uh, which will earn me a commission. So with that being said, let's get started. What we're going to cover right now is the basics of taking care of other people's dogs and mostly the emphasis on taking other people's pets into your home. Now this is needed by all kinds of people. There's a lot of people who work full time and they have pets. Both parents are out of the house and the kids are at school. Also, people on vacation need people to take care of their dog all the time. My family and I have a great dog named Brinkley and I used to talk about him on the show all the time. We, when we go on vacation, will only use close trusted friends or people that we know love dogs. We don't like putting him in a kennel and the thought of him sitting cold or under a heat lamp outside at night really bothers us. And so using something like Rover.com is a huge benefit for us. People that can use this job are anyone that wants to work full time or even part time. You can have dogs in your house overnight and watch them. They can sleep in your bed, hang out in your living room, or you can go stay at other people's houses and actually sleep on their couch uh, or in their guest room and still take care of their dogs. A couple other services that Rover lets you offer is drop-in visits and walking services. Drop-in visits are where you just basically go to somebody's house, check on their dog during the day, and make sure that everything's okay. They're not barking, chewing up the furniture, uh, maybe give them some food and water, uh, and that's all you really have to do. And I've seen a lot of people doing drop-in visits on Rover for about $14 just to go and check on somebody's dog, which in my opinion is a lot of money. Now, on top of drop-in visits, you can also offer walking services, which is another great way, especially for kids, to make money. And it always surprises me when I look online at a site like Rover or anywhere else that offers just how much money people are willing to pay for somebody to come out and drop in on their on their dog or to walk their dog. This is one business I think that's perfect for homeschool families that love dogs. If you're a homeschool family, you have so many opportunities and advantages over people that are working or in school all day. You are literally the perfect person to drop in on all of the dogs in your neighborhood or in a 10 to 20 minute radius, depending on how far you're willing to drive. So the question is, where do we get started? Okay, so today I'm gonna focus uh, only on rover.com. I'm not affiliated with Rover, but I do have a link that you can use that will give a kickback to the site. So if you wanna know what Rover is, it's basically Uber or Lyft for dogs. So it's like a social sharing site that connects people who have dogs with people that are willing to walk them or babysit them. And using something like Rover is really, really simple. All you do is log in as a family and create yourselves a profile. On your profile, you're gonna put a description about yourself, a basic title of you describing what you do, and then you're gonna select the services you offer. Do you walk dogs? Uh, do you do checkups? 
Do you do overnights? Do you do overnights in your home or overnights in other people's homes or both? After that, you're gonna upload some photos uh, showing you preferably having a good time with dogs, maybe other people's dogs, and that's it. Boom, you've got yourself a site. People can start searching for you and book your family right away. It's basically just a social sharing site. It connects you with people who need your services. I really like social sharing sites like Airbnb, Uber, and Lyft. Uh, I think that they're great ways for people and especially kids to make money. So my question for you right now is, do you have any favorites that I didn't mention? So I know about Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, and Rover. What have you used or what have other people you know used? If you can send me links, then possibly I'll make an episode of the show about them, which would be really cool. All right, the beauty of these social sharing sites like Rover, and say that five times fast and it just doesn't work, social sharing, social, yeah. Anyway, there's almost no barrier to entry. If you can walk or babysit dogs, you're pretty much allowed to jump right in. So because anyone can jump right in, you really need to do something to separate yourself from the pack. Just throwing a profile out there and hoping for the best probably isn't going to work. So I'm gonna give you three tips that are gonna help you separate yourself from the pack. No pun. You know what, that pun, it was totally intended. All right, so the first tip, you need to have a great profile. People are gonna go out on Rover and the first thing that they're gonna see is your photo your title and a brief description of what you do. So you need to make sure that you capture their attention right away. We need to get a really good title out there. If you look at some of the ones on there, you can get an idea for which ones are working and which ones aren't, but don't just throw your name out there and hope for the best. Also, you need to have a good description that evokes emotion in the reader. So talk about what you do, what you love, what makes you special and why people should use you as opposed to those other 50 pictures of great people that they're gonna see. And speaking of the things they're gonna see, you really need to have some good photos. Make sure the photos show you that you look happy and that they look like you're in control and taking care of dogs. That's what people wanna see and it's gonna help them to trust you. Tip two, you're gonna need some reviews and you're gonna need them fast. People need to know that they trust you and one of the easiest ways is through what's called social proof. Social proof is when people look and think that other people like and trust you. If other people like and trust you, then obviously you must be a trustworthy person. So you need to make it easy. On next Monday's show, I'm gonna teach you how to make very simple affiliate links like the one I'm gonna use for this show. And so tune in on Monday and I'll show you how to do that for yourself. But you need to give them a card that shows them exactly how to make a review and then incentivize them doing it. For example, make it easy. Give them a bag of dog treats if they give you a review. So when they show up for their next session, you've already got it waiting. Or you can do something like give their dogs a free wash if they give you a review. You have to be a little careful because some uh, counties want you to have a license before you wash dogs. So check really quick before you offer that service. Another one is something you could do really easily would be like giving a free walk if they give you a review. Now this one will cost you money, especially if it's like $14 to do one walk. Just know in the beginning, you may need to do something to get some reviews quickly. Tip three You need to be awesome, and this goes absolutely without saying, and I use it on almost every episode, but you really need to be good at what you do. One of the things that Rover uses to decide if you're good and how to rank you is uh, owners can request updates on their dogs. So they can request an update for how their dog's doing, or they can request that you send them photos of how their dog's doing. You need to make sure that you do two things. You need to make sure that you're responding quickly and often. Because both the timing and the frequency of how you respond is going to be tracked. It's just like when you're out there on Facebook and you're looking at pages, it'll tell you how often the owner responds and then you know how long it normally takes. And so on my page, you may see it takes four hours or four days and that I respond to 80% or 100% of inquiries. Your inquiries need to be 100% responded to and they need to be responded to really fast. And so that's a a big tip and you're just going to have to keep your phone by you or your parents' phone and make sure that you're responding as soon as you get an update. All right, here's one more bonus tip for you. As you're walking dogs, make sure that you're taking lots of Instagram-worthy photos. And what I mean by Instagram-worthy is that they're high quality and that they show you in action doing what you're supposed to be doing. So as you're walking dogs, when people look at your profile, if they see you with lots of different dogs, again, that's going to be social proof that you're getting a lot of bookings. So take lots of photos as you're sending owners photos of their dogs. If they're good photos, put them out there on your profile. Have a huge repertoire of pictures out there that people can see 
and that's going to help uh, with social proof as well. All right, if you follow those tips, you should do awesome. I highly recommend this as a business for anyone, no matter what your dream is. You can moonlight as a dog walker or a dog sitter. After the show, you need to go to my link at juniormoneymakers.com slash rover, create your profile and upload your photos. Then send your receipt and your profile link to mark at juniormoneymakers.com. If you do that, I'll go out and check your site out and give you feedback on what you can do to make it better. This week, I wanted to read a review before I go from Adam. Adam says, as a parent, I feel like my part of my job is to set my children to, up to succeed. This podcast is a great resource to do just that. I love how the show is directed at kids, but that parents get great insight as well. Well, Adam, thank you so much for the review, and you nailed it. That's exactly what I'm going for on this show. I always say that the ideas on my show apply to anyone, but I almost feel like I give out my show link to adults more than I do to families with kids. So follow these tips and tricks and business ideas, and just about anyone can have a good side hustle. In fact, I'm thinking about starting a second show almost every day that's dedicated to adults on how to start their own business and make some money. So I would love to hear your ideas on that, and I'd also love to read your review of the show live on the air. So just go to juniormoneymakers.com slash review and leave one. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. And until Wednesday, dream big and change the world. I used to know this guy that collected candy canes. They were all in mint condition. <laughs>